What is up guys, Protector18 here. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the Lost Legacy quest. It is a uh, quest in the Dragonborn DLC. It's after you, um, you have to go find a blacksmith, the missing blacksmith in the town Skull, I think it's called. Um, yeah, there's a missing blacksmith there, you have to go free him from the elves, and there's a map you have to get, and once you return that, they, uh, then the, I think he's the leader of that town, will come to you and ask for you to protect him in this, uh, this tomb. So yeah, it's a, it's a fairly simple uh, quest, but I just thought I'd go through it. It has some, you know, sort of elaborate puzzles. Um, so yes, yeah, so you just go into it. You meet him right here. Remarkable, isn't it? This tomb has been remarkable, isn't it? This tomb. Yeah, and then you just walk in here. Who knows how long? I've had a look around. And this one's super simple. You just have to uh, flip this lever right here. Opens that up, and then you drag a body into it. Any of these bodies work, doesn't matter. Put it on top there. And then you gotta flip this. Yeah, I guess we gotta flip this second. And the body will drop in, those things will light up. And the door right there, and right there will open. And then he just, he tells you to lead the way. Um, you can loot the bodies, but these have like 10 gold each, it's not super important. So you can choose whatever direction you want. I just, I'll just go this way first. And there's, there's not much looting, to be honest. There's a few chests here and there, but there's not a whole lot you should look out for. Um, if you want to get some free kills, you can just sneak when you go through here. If you're us, if you're in a, that's like a sneak character. If you're not, don't worry about it. I just put a, one there and one over here. Oh, fail that sneak. These are all pretty easy, guys. I shouldn't have any issue with them. There's one more right here. I think the, uh... Okay, no. There is two of these, um... Uh... Like, Draugr Death Lords that hold, like, parts of a key that you have to have. But these aren't the ones yet. And you just pull this lever. This one was a little tricky at first. I didn't really understand how you do it. But you just match it up with uh, each thing. So like here is like a staff. So get your staff out of your inventory. I already have one. I'll just use that. And you just shoot that. You have to shoot it twice. Once you shoot it twice, it lights up. And then you have this one over here, which is archery. So take out your bow. Shoot it twice. And then the last, just a sword. You can use a dagger too, it doesn't matter. I think just a melee weapon will work. And then this gate will open. And there is, uh, there's one skeleton here and right there. Get some free stealth kills. Oh, never mind. It was almost free. Holy crap. <laughs> this guy makes you go flying. I'm gonna get up. Today now. Alright. This guy is uh, not very hard, he just does that, which is pretty annoying. Might actually have to heal, I don't know. No, I'm good. So you can get the word. Um, you get the word Battle Fury. This is like the first part of it. Or it's the second part, I'm not sure. I think it depends on which way. You go. So yeah, so that's pretty simple. And I don't think there's any chests in here, if I remember. Oh, yeah, there's, there's two right here, but they're pretty crappy. I don't have anything good in them. Just some gold. You can check them if you guys want. Yeah, and then don't forget to loot this body. It gives you the uh, left half of the claw. That's required to move on. And he has a net, like a bow, that's uh, it's decent, but I don't know. I have a Daedric bow, so it's a little better. It sells for decent amount if you guys, wanna, if you guys need more money, though. So yeah, then you just go over to the other side. And this side is pretty simple, too. It just has some more skeletons. They're not actually called skeletons, but, you know, just what I call them. There's some more gold in there if you guys want. Nothing too impressive. 
There's a chest over here you can unlock. It'll just have some of our gold lock picks and steel armor, which I'm sure you guys are beyond that point if you're already here. And then you just go into this room, it's super simple. If you read this, it just tells you. Um, or I guess, no, you can't, you can't read it. The guy will come and they'll tell you the like, description for it. But all you have to do is just walk by it and don't touch the same thing. And then the door will open. It's not really a door, but yeah. It'll open up for you. Then you come in here. And then you get the next part of the word. I'm just gonna grab it real fast. Stay in sneak mode. Hopefully uh, the other guy doesn't come. As long as he doesn't come, I'll have some free kills right here. Oh yeah, see he came, but yeah, we got most of them, so that's good. So yeah, and then loot this, uh, you can loot all the skeletons if you want, but I just loot, gotta loot the main guy at least. To get, uh, next part, the right half of the key. So yeah, then... Pretty much done in here. Where's the, uh, the door? I forgot where it's at. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah, there's nothing really uh, to grab in here. I think I already looted this chest. I guess I didn't, but yeah, just more gold. You can get one of these helmets. They look cool, but they're pretty useless. So then go through this little cave. So much the other one. It just pops you out by the main area again. Pull the chain. And then just go along here. And then just insert both halves of the claw. And this will open up. Pull this handle. And then, like, a glowing bridge thingy will appear. It's super simple, just be careful of this. Keep moving on it, because otherwise it will fall off because it disappears behind you. The gate opens automatically. And then you pull this one. There's a potion up here if you guys want. Same dealio over here. If you fall down, there's quite a few of those things. If you're if you're a stealth character, that's super easy. You can just stealth and kill all of them if you guys want some free uh, free XP. Not really XP, but just leveling up your skills. But you know, you don't really get anything from them, so it's kind of pointless. It's kind of a tedious process. I don't know why they have it zigzag so much. Let's go over here. I think you can't open this door. No, you can't actually. I lied. Because for one of these areas had one you could, but I guess not. This one's a little faster. It's supposed to get a little harder, but it's still super easy. Then, then you're here. And to be honest with you, I'm not totally positive where you're supposed to find out what the uh, combination is. I just know what it is from online. So it's just dragon on the bottom, wolf, and uh, bird on the top. And then just you combine the two uh, halves of the key you already have, and then it'll open right up. Opens up super slow. He said first. So like I said before, I'm pretty sure you won't have this character. I think it's from my different quest. So you will not have her. You just flip this, open her up. Well, I'm not missing any chests, but I'm pretty sure they're just not. And then I'm over here. A priest will come out. If you're stealth, you can just be sneak. And it's super easy. But even if you're not sneak, it should be fairly easy to get them. I 
don't know if she's really considered a priest because she doesn't have the uh, mask on, but I don't know. You can get a pretty good Warhammer. It sells for quite a bit. So th those uh, weapons for my character are super useless, but they sell for quite a bit, so I'll pick them up. Just let me study these drones for a moment. So he just studies the ruins for a moment. Yes, yeah, very fascinating. How amazing! A real dragon priest! In all my years as a historian, I suppose that was Valak. He must have had this entire place built for him so that he could maintain his vigil. Indeed. I knew that the dragon priests were thought to have been powerful men of great will. Well, I suppose I've seen everything I came for. You kept up your... Now I think I'll spend some more time studying this word war. What a book this will make. So there you go. You get a thousand gold. And then, yeah, that's it. You've completed the quest. So if you guys want more uh, walkthroughs, and tutorials, or just Skyrim videos, hit that like button. And you guys can comment recommendations or certain videos you would like to see. And, uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Peace. Tell me, tell me, tell me pretty lies Look me in the face Tell me that you